Yet another one at Bruin and City Hall, um, the police chief search. Um, Carmen Best, uh, the interim police chief, was not named as one of the three finalists. I was in the press conference where that happened. There was nothing short of outrage after the fact. You appointed Carmen Best to that interim position. I want to ask you a blunt question. Did you have anything to do directly with her not making the list of the final three? No, because, and I want to be really clear with people because I think people don't understand what process was used yep. because there's been a lot of statements about this happened, that happened. So we had the most inclusive search process that the city's ever had. We had um, dozens of community meetings. We had a search committee that whittled down from dozens and dozens of candidates to interview a smaller amount to present five to the interim group. So that process also, you know, they used a process and one could say, how do we know they used the right mm -hmm. process to even get to the five? But you know, they're because the right people. These are the, five people. Because they, and you look at it because I trust the people who were in that search committee. Mm -hmm. They were a broad-based group from Seattle representing all sorts of interests. So they did a tremendous job. The next step, under the city charter, it requires me as mayor to select from three people who pass the competitive examination or rated the highest. So you have the search committee that comes up with five names. Those five names then have to be reduced to three under the charter in a competitive examination. That competitive examination was not an insider's group, as some people think it is. I carefully made sure that we had a very a cross-section of people and experience. First in the search committee, the co-chairs had, we had Tim Burgess, former member of the council, former police officer, who some would say is the moderate wing, but who was at the start working with me as U.S. attorney and police reform. We would not have had police reform without him. Sitting next to him was Jeff Robinson, one of the foremost experts on race and systemic racism in the country. Well, we could we could sit here and talk about the cross section of who was all on the. No, but wait, but but no, I think it's but, important for people to understand. If you want to look at a system to see it's fair. Who was making those decisions? Sue Rohr, the third co-chair, mm -hmm. who knows more about policing and was the first woman ever elected But you can't deny there are sheriff. people on the search committee who are not pleased. No, I know, you but that's, but, but I think the public, right. I think the public needs to, let me finish please if I can. The public needs to understand first who those co-chairs mm -hmm. were and how diverse they were. So you had a woman who was the first elected sheriff ever in the Northwest who came up the ranks as a woman knowing how hard it is. Yeah. You had the number one criminal defense lawyer, perhaps in the country, and an expert on systemic racism. You had Tim Burgess, who understands Seattle, and Colleen Echohawk, who works with probably the most marginalized homeless community there is, Native Americans. Then it moves to a, a team that takes the five and moves it to three. Ron Sims, African American man who was county executive. And I have more questions, so I don't want to dwell on every member of the I know, but committee. I think it's important for but, people but to know. But that doesn't change the fact that no, you but, have rank and file officers and you have community members who still aren't pleased. Right, but my, one let reason. Let me just make a point. In my seven years covering policing in the city, yep. there have been almost no things that rank and file officers and advocates of police reform have agreed on. That is an unusual thing to happen. And a lot of them have vocally agreed that they think Carmen Best would have been good for the job. And at the end of the day, wasn't that the point of a new police chief is someone who the community trusts and someone who the police trust to bring us into the future? So we can talk all we want about the search committee and how, uh, how wide ranging it is. It doesn't change the backlash that there has been to this decision. Right, if, right or I, wrong, can, it doesn't change can the I answer? backlash. Yes. So two things. First is I do want to Finish because I think the public has a right to know who was making this recommendation from the three to the five. Mm -hmm. And was there a race-based decision or an anti-gender? We had Bernie Malekian, who was President Obama's choice to run community policing for the country, who has run more searches. We had Ron Sims. We had Ian Warner, who is African-American, who was on the monitoring team, now serves of counsel. Shafali Raghunathan. So we had a very diverse group. And I will tell you, I understand there's disappointment, but I have heard from people on both sides saying they think the right decision was made. And I have and to, this, to be fair. Right, to be fair. So there's I, back and forth. There's back and forth. So I think what we have to look at is, one, is the process sound? Is it? If, it is sound. Okay. And if I wanted as mayor to devise a system that would exclude Carmen Best or exclude outsiders, I would have said no internal candidates. And I had the right to do that. I didn't do that 
because I believe the Seattle Police Department, while it has challenges, is the best police department in the country, bar none. I believe in the rank and file. I have gone to roll calls. I work with them. This morning I talked with the ones on the navigation team. They have a really tough job. I have confidence in this police force and in Carmen Best. I chose her as to be my interim chief. I talked to her on Friday. I talked to her over the weekend. I asked her and want her to stay on as chief. I want her to stay in the department. I've known her for many, many years. So this is not a question about, you know, one member of the committee said it's because I thought someone, we need to have someone from externally. For me, there's a whole range of factors. One of those is, how do we police in Seattle it for the next five years? How do we do law enforcement in, a, in an urban environment so that we are handling protests, we're arresting people who commit crimes? Public safety is the number one job of police, but how they do that public safety is very different. You know, looking back is when I was U.S. attorney, I was able to work with every law enforcement officer and head of chief of police in the whole West Coast. I think we have the best police force there is. I think our rank and file, we have made huge cultural shifts, but there's a lot of work left to be done. Just so this is not a decision about, you know, inside or outside. There's a range of things, and, and look, it's tough. We're a top city in America. Being, it's a really competitive process. You know, when I left being U.S. attorney, I was under consideration to be attorney general for the United mm -hmm. States of America. I would have loved that job. I didn't get it. Someone else was chosen, a good friend of mine, Loretta Lynch. I supported her. I supported the president's right to choose. It's a tough process. I have faith in Carmen Best. She will continue to be my interim chief. I think we'll continue to make a difference. And for the people who are disappointed, I'm going to go meet and listen and talk to them. I, because I think having unity is important. But this is not about any single candidate. I think it's about a process. And the process was a very good process that worked. People just need to understand how it works. And I promised I'd get you out the door.